Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss ID3 decision tree learning algorithm in detail. In the previous set of videos, I have discussed a numericals on decision tree learning algorithm. Link for those videos is given in the description below. In this video, we will understand the algorithm part. ID3 algorithm is a recursive kind of uh, algorithm. In this case, uh, we need to pass uh, three things that is uh, the examples target attribute and attributes in this case. For example, if you consider this data set, in this case, we have 14 examples in this case. So that will be the first parameter to ID3 algorithm. The second one is the target attribute. The, in this case, uh, we have uh, a play tennis as a target attribute. That will be the second parameter. And the third parameter to this uh, ID3 algorithm is attributes. That is nothing but uh, how many number of attributes are there and uh, what are they? Those are the things we need to pass. In this, once you pass this particular thing, the first and foremost thing what will happen is the ID3 algorithm will create a node for that particular tree. It will not as assign anything to that one, but it will create a node in that case. Because it is a, a recursive kind of algorithm, we need to have a termination condition here. So there are three uh, termination conditions are there. Uh, if all examples uh, that is uh, in the uh, previous slide I have shown like uh, there are 14 examples are there. If all those particular examples are positive, then uh, the algorithm will return the root with that particular label. If, if it is a positive, it will assign positive. If it is yes, yes will be assigned and so on. If all are negative, it will assign minus or you can say that uh, no will be assigned in that particular case. For example, let us say that uh, all these particular four examples are positive. That is nothing but yes, yes will be assigned here. If all of them are negative, no will be assigned in that particular case. That is the, th these are the two termination conditions you can say. The third termination condition is uh, while we build that particular decision tree, we may come across a situation where there are no attributes are present. So right now, how many attributes are there? There are four attributes. While building this particular tree, we may come across a situation where there are no attributes. So in such case, what will happen is it will take the most common value of the target attribute. So this is the target attribute. The most common value it will take. If you look at this column only, assume that there are no attributes are there. If you look at this column, there are five no examples are there, nine S yes examples are there. So what will happen here? Yes will be assigned to that particular root node. These are the three termination conditions for ID3 algorithm. Let us assume that none of these three conditions were satisfied. What will happen in such situation is the following set of uh, instructions will be or the steps will be executed again and again in that case. So the very first step in this case is uh, uh, we need to identify the best attribute or you can say that the attribute which classifies the example best. Let us say that uh, uh, in this example, we will calculate the information gain. Again, I have calculated this uh, information gain in, in the previous video. The link for that video is given in the description below. You just follow that one to understand how to get this particular information gain. So I have calculated the information gain here. In this case, you can see this the, the outlook node is having the maximum information gain among four here. So what we do is uh, we will assign that particular outlook to this particular A and then we will assign that particular uh, outlook to that particular root node. In the previous uh, slide, I have shown a root node was created to that particular root node. We will assign the A that is nothing but outlook here. You can notice it here. We have uh, created a node and then outlook is assigned in this case. Now coming back to the next step for each possible value of A. So what are the possible value of A? That is A is nothing but outlook in this case. Sunny is the one possibility. Overcast is the second one and uh, rain is the third possibility. So for each possibilities, we need to perform these steps. What is that? Add a new tree branch below root corresponding to the value A. For example, the value of A. Uh, for this particular outlook, we have three branches. So three branches will be added here. That is one is sunny, second one is overcast and third one is rain in this case. So that is what they are saying here. Now, we need to take the subset of uh, those particular examples. Uh, for example, uh, uh, we need to consider only sunny examples, only overcast examples and only rain examples in this case. Here, only sunny examples, only overcast and only rain examples. So that is what is written in this particular case. If that particular examples is empty, uh, then we need to take the most common value of the target attribute and then assign here. So there are no uh, uh, examples are there. We need to take the most common uh, value and then we need to assign here that may not come into picture but that's the one termination condition again here if there are some examples available it will go to else part 
so what we do here is at that particular uh, branch uh, we will add a subtree at this particular place here we will add one subtree here we will add one subtree here we will add one more subtree assume that we are executing for this particular branch in that case it will call this id3 algorithm again id3 examples of that particular branch examples are d1 d2 d8 d9 and d11 in this case and then target attribute that is the associated target attributes and how many attributes i need to pass totally we have four attributes out of that i need to remove this particular outlook here because we have already considered that outlook here so how many will be there temperature humidity and wind so that is what is nothing but attributes minus a here so when you call this particular thing again it will go back to this particular step uh, it will create a, a new uh, root node and then it will check whether all are positive all are negative if you look at this particular thing uh, two are positive three are negative so all are not positive all are not negative so you cannot assign plus or minus here and then it will check whether the attributes are empty uh, no attributes are empty here because three attributes are remaining temperature humidity and wind so it will calculate the or it will check one attribute which is having the maximum information gain and again it will start building the tree here unless and until you will get only positive examples or negative examples or there are no attributes left here now that is what will happen on this particular branch let us say, take an example of this branch when it comes to this branch again it will call this particular id3 algorithm the number of examples associated target as well as the attributes minus the a here so in that case these are the examples the targets of this particular examples and uh, the number of attributes will be again temperature humidity and wind because outlook is considered for this branch also now if you see this one it will go back to this particular first step what is the first step it will create a root node of course it will create a root node it will check whether all are positive examples or all are negative examples if you look at here four examples are there all four are positive here because all four are positive what it does is for that particular root it will assign the yes in this case because it is a positive example because we have assigned a positive uh, yes here there is no need to do the further processing it will come out of that particular loop here so that is what will actually happens uh, when it comes to uh, we can say that uh, coming up with that particular termination condition over here the same thing will be repeated for this particular branch also unless and until we reach that particular uh, termination condition in that case here once we reach the termination condition it will come out of that particular call uh, once it comes out of the main call uh, we will get the final decision tree over here so in this video what i did is i have explained how this particular decision tree algorithm uh, works over here the numerical examples on the top of this one uh, is already explained the link for those videos is given in the description below just go through those particular videos you will understand how to build a decision tree using id3 algorithm i hope this particular concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching